Hello everybody and welcome back to Just in Whack and the Big Time Hack. And we left off in the previous episode, uh, we managed to do quite a lot of things. Let me tell you all, uh, if I go back here, uh, we have returned actually with Justin back to this era. The thing is, we have gotten ourselves quite a lot of things. Now, uh, one important object that we got to do, one important mission that we got to do, uh, we got to get ourselves this thing, the sap with the gloves. A pair of leather gloves. The problem is, I'm not sure exactly how to that do it because I think I am supposed to get rid of the. Um... But even with the gloves on, yeah. I'm not going to stick my arm into that swarm. Interesting. I need to get rid of the bugs first. We got to get rid of the bugs first, right? So we also have the chamomile <sighs> flower. That soothing chamomile smell. Soothing chamomile smell. Now let me check the note before a second. The journal here. So make the gloves even stickier. Is there any way to knock out the dodo? Allergy potion, a touch of space dust, a cup of hot chamomile tea, and a sample of cat fur. Pay a visit to the hunting lodge. Figure out how to get the uh, secret lab floor. I mean, I've already paid a visit to the uh, hmm, to the hunting lodge. Why is this mission still a thing? Let me check this follow for a second. Uh, what's with the uh, room next door? As a hunter, do you have any tips on taking down the dodo? And I should take up your time. Let's go what's with this with one. What's with the room next door? You stay away from that door, you hear me? That's my private hunting lodge. No KDs allowed. Yeah, we gotta find a way to well, get inside this guy's I room for sure. I take up any more of your time, Abraxas. Hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, in that case, pretty sure we can interact. Oh, this guy has a napkin. Sorry. I just don't share your fascination with dino snot. <laughs> huh. Come on, you know you want it, buddy. I have a feeling I may need it. What about the magazines? An old issue of Standing Stone magazine. I guess waiting room magazines were never not out of date. <laughs> Alright, buddy, in that case, uh, let's see here. We got a lot of stuff Stop. on this. <laughs> Seriously, that's all you're gonna say? Oh, look at the lion, the saber-toothed tiger. Are you kidding me? I caramba, that's a big one. <gasps> oh snap! I caramba, <laughs> best not to get too close, especially considering my cat allergy. Okay, so I think I'm gonna need the cat fur from it, but how am I gonna get it though? I wonder if I got it. Hold up, let me go to Clute here. Let me see if I can give him the scissors. These things might be dangerous. Mm. I better keep them around just to be safe. Oh, come on, buddy. Just needs that stuff. What about the nah, duct tape? I... No. Um. What else can I give him then? Envelope, pack of gum. A pre-stamped envelope for opening up a savings account at Piggy Bank. It's yeah, just to need put to put, your put a coin in there. And a coin in it to open up a savings account at Piggy Bank. Yeah, I just need to find the coin, I guess. Um, hmm. Interesting. Can I get the toy soldier nah, to Justin? I'd better keep. No. What about the gum? Oh, okay. We switched back the gum to him. What about the math piece? Okay. What about the pint? Nah, I'd. No. Uh, what about the butterfly net? There we go. The envelope. I think I'm. No. What about the crowbar? Okay. What about the mirror? There we go. Printer? Nah, Cartridge? I'd... No. Yeah, well, I think I got a... What about the dog poop bag? Okay. Interesting. Uh, in that case, let me go back to Justin. We got ourselves our hands in a lot of stuff. Now, water. I bet it could be used for grinding stuff. Yeah, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, I got to grind the chamomile flower. Okay. Some ground chamomile coming right up. There we go. We got ourselves the ground chamomile. Uh, can I combine this with the dog I poop? I don't think they go to... No. Hmm... Looks like a mouthpiece for some kind of instrument. How am I gonna get myself the fur? I caramba! That's a big one! From the uh, tiger. <gasps> yeah, that's not gonna work. I caramba! I gotta get my fur from it somehow. Let me see if I can chat with the dino about the uh, tiger. Nope, well, that's not gonna hmm. help. Um, In that case, let's see what other things we got in our inventory. We got the cheese cube. The magazines. A load of really old hairstyle magazines from like the 50s or something. <laughs> we got the hairspray. Oh, maybe I can actually use the hairspray with the tiger? Nah, I'd better keep it. No. 
Uh, the gum with the tiger? I think I'm gonna... No. Billows, bamboo stick. A hollow bamboo reminds me of an old Sherlock. And a disc of Odin. I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to do with that. All right, in that case, uh, let me keep on exploring. Let's see what else we can do right here. I have a feeling in order to actually make the tea, I do need to put it in here. So if I grab this and put it inside there, okay. there we go. I knew it. It works. That's chamomile tea right there. Not very hot though. Yeah, we just got to turn on the coal mm. somehow. I think that coal needs some lighter fluid. Like lighter fluid. Hmm. I wonder how I'm gonna get my hands on some lighter fluid. What about if I use the hairspray? Ah, there we go. Nice. Awesome. That coal is shiny with super flammable hairspray. Okay, now how do I get the fire going then? Uh, can I use the bamboo Let's stick? Let's try something. Else. No. Bellows? The coal is isn't hot enough. Um. Oh, what about the flamethrower? Would love to. If I had any fuel <laughs> in the flamethrower. Okay, so we need some fuel for the flame floor, of course. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. I think I may need to traverse back in time or go into the future again in order to see if I can find some fuel or something. So, let me make my way over here. Uh, right up to this side. Oh, wait, this is not where I gotta go. Never mind. Let's go back here. And back to this side. And now we gotta go to the left side. Because we gotta go inside the uh, time machine again. Now, can I chat with the hologram again? Hey, holographic Bob. I told you. You did. <laughs> nope, Anywho, nothing new with the holographic Bob. Oh. oh. All right, buddy, hold up. I'm gonna be back. Don't worry about it. Uh, let me. We don't have to go here, actually. If you wanna fast travel, we just gotta use. Wait, Since can I this maybe use the mouse? Takes me to the past. Like Since this? this no, then we gotta use the bunny and go. Uh, oh, we can examine it. Since this rabbit. Okay, never mind. Uh, in that case, I'm gonna go back here. All right, so let me see if I can figure out how to get my hands on some fuel. Of course, we can still not go in that secret room, but I was hoping I could actually get my hands on some oil from around here somewhere. Oh, hold up. Not What's sure that, John? I need a surface to air missile launcher. <laughs> just kidding. It's just a piece, just of, a piece junk. of junk. Can you not grab not it? Sure. Ah, he doesn't want it. Just kidding. Mm. All right, buddy. Uh, in that case, I really wish I could actually go for that ventilation hatch. It says, "Hmm." Can I use the cross nah. uh, crowbar to open it up? No. Can I use the crowbar on that? I can't transfer it to me. I already. No, no, no. I want you to use it with the ventilation Tempting, hatch. But I really don't see the reason to break into that place. Hmm. Okay, so he doesn't want to break into this place, apparently. I wonder, can I maybe melt the toy soldier? Let me go back in here. Okay. Floor tile and a sign. That's a well-mopped bone-dry floor tile if ever I saw one. <laughs> Why is this one different? It does look different. But of course, we still need those coins, right? Uh, we got a freezer, we got a smiley. I have a feeling I gotta do something with this freezer. But what? Can I put the pine in there? Sorry, but no. no. Uh, do I have anything that I can actually put in that freezer, I wonder? What about the coffee? Smells like QP42. I'm not really in the mood for coffee right now. Can I give this one to Clute? Yes. And now I use Clute to put the coffee in here? Let's try something. No. Interesting. Use this to Let's cut this out? Those. No. Um, hmm. Still a little bit confused. Uh, let me go to the office here. What I want to try to do is put something in the microwave. Can I put a soldier in there? Uh, no, but I, I don't want to just transfer stuff to him. Dang it. I thought I, actually, I could actually melt the soldier, but that is not going to work apparently. All right, uh, in that case, can I give this guy the coffee, Lenny? I think I'm gonna hang on to Hmm, let me chat with him. Hi, Lenny. This is Lenny's... 
Could someone please? <laughs> Thank you. What? I was just trying to chat with you. Come on, buddy. Thank you, dude. How am I gonna get those Note coins says, out of the jar? Fill the tip jar. Grab the coin. Wait, nah, because he's gonna complain. So we gotta find a way to distract this fella somehow. Hmm. How am I gonna even do that? Back of gum, mouthpiece. Let's give this one back to Clute. Crowbar back to Clute. Um. Let me go back to Clute now. Let me see if I can use the coffee to uh, spill it on the floor. Ah, there we go. Awesome. Oops. <laughs> this is Hopefully that's going to distract him. There's been an incident in aisle one. Staff to aisle one. Staff to aisle one. Bring them up, please. Thank you. Ah, there we go. So the kid is going to go and clean it. I get it. Like I ain't okay, got well, more important stuff to do. I was in the zone <laughs> too. I was in the zone too. So while this happens right here, uh, let's see what we can do. So we can. Oh, USB port. You know what? Let's use this with the USB port. This is Lenny speaking. Could someone please tell the customer in I one not to enter the employees only restricted areas? Okay, so we also Thank have to distract you. this guy as well. Sorry. Now, the problem is, I cannot really grab the viruses for the pineapple USB stick. They don't really... I'm pretty sure I gotta do they something don't about it. They um, don't really... Let's not come... So that it fits the uh, laptop, right? What about the fishbowl? That poor fish looks... Looks bored. Can I grab it? I'm gonna take real good care of you, Sushi. <laughs> there we go. We got that Sushi. do it. Oh, he cleaned it up. Huh. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, the taking over the world part. <laughs> the thing is, I still have to uh, put a virus on this computer. I'm 100% sure about that. Now, can I do something about sushi here, put it in the freezer? Let's try something. No. Um, what else am I supposed to do with sushi, though? Put this in they there? Seem to... No. Can I give this one to I Justin? Feel personal... No. Okay. The thing is, I don't have any more coffee anymore, so let me give this one back to Justin. Let me go back to Justin. Let me go back over here as well. Uh, as I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to get myself some more coffee, right? Uh, let me go back and grab me some more coffee over here. One coffee. There you go. We're definitely gonna need that. Let me give this one back to Clute. Uh, next up, what do we got? I don't think we have anything else around here that we may need. We have the we have the dripping water thingy, but nothing that we need. And that is about everything. Still haven't figured out where to get myself some fuel though, unfortunately. Alright, let's get out of here. Now, let me try to figure out a way to actually use the USB stick uh, with Clute here. This is kind of the biggest problem that I'm having. I know that I need this it's USB a stick. Pineapple compatible computer stick. Pineapple compatible computer stick. We got a shoot, we got a coin slot, and we got a grapple sphere. Uh, let me go back this way then. For a second. Okay, so this is gonna be the park. Let me chat with Jason for a second. Nope, Take nothing care. that we need from Jason. Um, let's see here. Hang in there, Sushi. I'll set you free. Oh wait, maybe I'm supposed to just simply set free, set Sushi free, uh, in here. Oh, actually, no, right in here. Or maybe drop him in the uh, drain. I don't think so. No. Uh, drop me here. Okay, Sushi. It's not perfect, but it's way bigger than your current bowl. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. We got rid of Sushi. This moment, I'll refrain from cracking a cheap joke right now. 
Having said that, you should feel right at home. Having said that, you should feel right at home with all those coins down there. You being a goldfish and all. <laughs> Seriously, that was a good Sorry, one. Love that. That's sushi. Ah, uh, that was a good one. What are you talking about? Right, I think what I gotta do now with the fishbowl is just transfer it to Justin. Because, guess what? I now have a working helmet for this. Nice. The spacesuit is now intact. Here we go. Looks to be intact. Looks to be in. Now, I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do with it, though. Uh, I do have a space shard, the shard of glass. Can I give this one to Clute? Oh, we can. Hmm. I wonder why that was needed. What about the name tag? Clute? Nah. No. What about the uh, nah. Odin thingy? No. Flintroy? Oh, I think. No. Magazines? Sure. Cheese. What about the cheese nah. cube? No. Mouthpiece? Yeah, I think I'm gonna give him that. Butterfly net? Sure. Mirror? Dog poop? What about nah. this? No. Sneaky nah. thingies? No. Mobile phone? Nah. <laughs> uh, business card. Okay. Not sure what I'm gonna do with that though, but bellows? Oh, I think no. Bamboo nah. stick? Uh, and then we got the help note and everything that we don't need anymore. All right, cute cat allergy. Find a way to get rid of the dinos. Hmm. Well, let me go back to Clute. Let's see what his information is saying here. So, post envelope to open up saving account, put a coin in the envelope, and put some contact details in the envelope. Oh, contact details. I think for the contact details, we need uh, the business card in the envelope. Okay, the business card is in the envelope. Awesome. I just gotta figure out now what I gotta do with uh, the coin. How am I gonna get those coins though? Big, bright, and shiny. Can I use the crowbar to get Sorry. it down? No. Use this Let's to get it down? No. Oh, maybe I gotta use this to sharpen they don't this really up. Go together. Mm. They don't. Let's not. They don't seem to. It's a pineapple. It's a pineapple compatible stick. They don't really go. Thank you, dude. They're so annoying. All right, let me see if uh, this guy is gonna still give me. I can. Mind if I take? Maybe later. Maybe later, waiter. Hmm. Nice chatting. See you around. Okay, kid. never mind. Um, let me chat with the bouncer. What's up, Mike? Oh, good. Nope, nothing with him either. I think I can see that banana peel down there in the darkness. I wonder if I need to get me anything else from this fellow, though. Let me have a chat with him. Nope, nothing new from him. No worries. Uh, what could I give him then? Magazines, maybe? Mm. If I were a hairdresser. If I were a hairdresser. Back in the fifth. Maybe I gotta give these ones to the actual hairdresser. You know what? I think I know what I gotta do. Yeah, I think I gotta keep the uh, hairdresser busy uh, with those magazines. So, if I make my way over here, just like that, and I give this guy the magazines. Wow, those look amazing. But I can't really go on a break as long as my boss is looking. Ah. So maybe I gotta get the boss to leave? Hairdressing magazines? Not really. Not really my thing. Mouthpiece. Nah, I'd... No. Uh, nah, here. I'd... No. Hmm. How do I get rid of this guy? Nah, I... Coffee? I think I'm good. <laughs> no. Toy? Nah, I'd... No. USB stick? Nah, I'd... Hmm. Interesting. These things might be dangerous. What about the pint? I think I'm... Hmm. Roll I tape? Think... No. So how the heck am I going to get this guy to be busy? Wow, a load of magazines from like the 50s about hairstyles and whatnot. Okay. We got a bunch of shirts over there. We got the customer. We got the hairs thingy. Uh, that's so annoying though. Can I combine? A... Would you please stop calling it that? <laughs> yeah, buddy. Can I please combine it's this with not... this? No. 
I think what I gotta do here, I gotta figure out a way to use this stick with the computer upstairs on this side. But how? How am I actually gonna do it? Because if I try to insert this inside hmm. the slot... It would totally make sense for this pineapple computer stick to work with this computer slot. Yeah. It doesn't seem to fit. How do I make it fit? What if I put this in here? I don't think so. No. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. I gotta get this somehow to uh, work, but uh, I'm not able to, unfortunately. Oh, that is so annoying. I think I may actually be completely done with him. I think I gotta try to figure out what I gotta do with uh, this guy instead. So, what am I supposed to do here then? I know I gotta scare this fella out, right? But how the heck am I gonna do it? That vegan dino said this thing makes a really loud noise. There's no way I can use this myself, though. I don't have the lungs for it. I don't have the lungs for it. Can I maybe get this guy to do it? I think I'm gonna have. What about the kid? Nah. No. Um. If I do manage to scare that thing. It might actually work. It might do what I need it to do. What if I combine this with this? Let's not come. No. I need fuel, buddy. Where am I gonna get some fuel on? Mm, soil. That soil looks too barren. That soil looks too barren to grow anything on it. I mean, yeah, that's true. I just don't see any oil around here. Oh, hold up. We got a patrol cap. Ah, oh, no way. Judging by the smell, there's still some fuel left in there. Hmm. I would need something to suck it up with, though. Uh, we have what we need. We got the bamboo stick. Suck up the fuel through that thing? Yeah. I guess. <laughs> nice. Come on. Nice. The flamethrower is ready for action. Awesome. We finally got it. All right, we got ourselves a flamethrower. A fueled up flamethrower. And it does have fuel. Awesome, perfect. All right, well, now that we got that, uh, let me go back to the mouse. There we go. Uh, let's see if I can actually use the flamethrower to get rid of those things. Nah, a flamethrower might scare mm. the bugs off, but it would, yeah, it would also, also burn, burn the, the sticky, sticky sap, sap to a crisp. Thank it. Well, in that case, let me at least make my way over here and use the flamethrower with this. Okay, let's light this sucker up. Oh, no way, it works. Finally. The coal is kind of hot, but it still needs something to spread the heat into a nice glow. Oh, I think I know exactly what that's uh, gonna be all about. All right, uh, let's see here. So if I go ahead and grab me this one, it might make it better. There we go, well, we're getting well. ourselves the tea that we needed. Look at me making up fires like it ain't no thing. I'm learning a lot here. <laughs> I'm learning a lot here. There's boiling hot chamomile tea in the pot. Right, uh, how do I grab it though? I don't know how to grab it. <laughs> There's boiling hot. Okay. So if I check this, I still need a uh, cup of hot chamomile tea. I think if I'm not mistaken, I may need the cup from Clute, right? This cup. The thing is, also need to go in here and again get rid of the coffee. I don't think. Wait, you don't want to try it again? I don't think I dare to try that again. The kid got so irritated last time I did it. Ah, uh, well, maybe I don't have to put a virus onto that computer then. Okay, let me give this one to him. Now let me use Justin to grab one chamomile tea coming the right tea. up. There we go. I guess he replaced the coffee on it. A mug of hot chamomile tea. Awesome. That is what we needed. If I go here, and I give this guy the uh, chamomile tea. Ah, have you got the allergy stuff I asked for? Sorry, I haven't checked off all the items on my list yet. And yet you choose to strike up a conversation with me just <laughs> like that. Fascinating. Fascinating. All right, so of course we haven't gotten all of them. We just got the chamomile tea. I just need to get myself a touch of spare space dust and a sample of cat fur. 
I have no idea I'm gonna get myself the space dust, to be honest. And make the gloves even stickier. Alright, in that case, let me go back here. Okay. A beautiful saxophone mouthpiece. Yeah, I'm not sure what you gotta do with that, buddy. Butterfly net, dog poop bag. Hmm. A toy soldier. A little plastic toy soldier. Oh, the little oh. helmet came off. I got the helmet the from that. The little plastic helmet I got from that toy soldier. What am I supposed to do with the uh, helmet then? Use the helmet with this? They don't seem to mix very well. No. Yeah, I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to do with the toy helmet. This game is confusing. Use the crowbar with what? So all I do definitely to start missing that something. Yeah. Definitely, definitely missing something here. Oh, can I grab the banana peel? Nah. No. Let me go inside the pub then. Oh. Excuse me, waiter. What's up, buddy? Can I grab his can? What's up, salty? I'd like to order a snack if I may. Uh, you ah. being the waiter. The service at this place could use some work, you know. You just name it, salty. What can I get you? You just name it, Salty. Well, I need something to complement this fine can of Le Chef's salt water. Something a little sturdier than peanuts, but not quite a full meal. Hmm. Okay. How about a nice soft-boiled egg? A sure boiled thing, egg? Salty. One soft-boiled egg coming right up. <laughs> All right, buddy, let me see if I can actually bring you that. I feel like that's why I need the uh, toy helmet. So let me chat with the, uh, Brie here. What's happening, boss? Not much. Talk to you later, boss. Wait, mm -hmm. what? No, 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 I gotta bring him an egg. Uh, are you kidding me? How am I supposed to bring him an egg then? Hmm. I was expecting the boss to give me what I need, though, but apparently that is not gonna happen. Hi, Clute. So, has Justin's cat allergy magically disappeared yet? Uh, not yet, not no. Yet, no. So, talk to you later? Will do. <laughs> Thank it. Alright, so, uh, we gotta find a way to get an egg. I'm really, really curious where I'm gonna be able to get my hands on an egg, though. Because I definitely, definitely don't have an egg at the moment. Now, do I have the possibility of going in the kitchen? Because I definitely don't see that option anywhere. So... That iconography looks familiar somehow. It's like a memory from a dream or something. Hmm. I mean, we do have the salt over here. Better leave. Then I'm gonna be able to use it if I have to make the salty egg. Uh, but how do I grab the salty egg from that guy? Can I grab his Mind can? if I take that can? Nah, there's still some salt water in there. Ah. You can have the can once I finish that soft boiled egg. Soft boiled egg. Oh, you know nice. what? Sure. I know exactly what egg he's talking about. So if I go to Justin, right over here, and now I make my way all the way to the right, right over here. Actually, no, not on this side. Hold up. Sorry about that. Let me go back to this side. So now we know what we're going to be able to do with the egg that we're going to be collecting from this side, right? Yep, this is the egg right over here, the one that we need. Hmm. Ah, caramba! Interesting. So that's gonna be the egg that I'm gonna have to boil for Salty, the cook. Okay. I don't think... Can I give this to the rabbit? Let's not come <laughs> No. Um, hmm. Yeah, I still have to figure out how to actually scare the, um, the dodo bird. Because if I do manage to scare the dodo bird, then I'm probably gonna be able to grab its, uh, egg, right? I feel like I gotta do something with the, uh, saber tooth here, but, uh, I'm not sure what. Nah. What if I give it nah. this? No, the bag. 
the helmet? Uh, I think... Can I use the helmet with myself? Ah. No. Hmm. All right, so um, since I cannot really get the um, cat hair from Justin, with Justin, I guess, let me check something else. Now, if you guys remember, in the pawn shop here, uh, we had information that this apparently has pet hair on it. The previous owner left some hmm. cat fur on it. The thing is, this guy's not going to give it to me without money, right? So... Can I grab the it? The owner wants one small bunch of monies for it. Yeah, he wants one Don't small bunch of monies. Eat. Which seems a lot, considering all the cat hair on it. Hmm, all the cat hair on it. Can I maybe use the roll of tape to grab the cat cat hair out of it? Hmm, are ah. you some kind of pet detective? I think or it are worked. are you actually looking to buy that carrier? i let it go <laughs> for just a small bunch of money! <laughs> This guy. Sorry, got a little carried away there. I'll stick to the detective work for now. <laughs> Alright, awesome. I think I got myself the cat fur. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> so, we got ourselves. Um, put envelope to open the uh, savings account. Actually, what I gotta do is just give this to Justin. All right now, if I go back to Justin and check the notes. Okay, we got the sample of cat fur. We got a cup of hot chamomile tea. All we need now is a touch of space dust. How the heck am I gonna get my hands on space dust then? Make gloves even stickier. I know exactly how to do that. The problem is, I don't know how to get my hands on the spray here. Let me use the bunny for a second. Go back to this era. There we go. And the reason I want to do that is because whenever I go to this fellow over here and ask him about the spray for the bugs. So. Hmm. Uh, any insane components? Sorry, I can never keep them in stock. I have this customer have who this buys customer every can as soon as I get my hands on. Later, so, dude. who's this customer he's talking about? Come on, buddy. I just want to buy that stuff from you. You're so annoying. Getting stuck is annoying. Let me tell you guys. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. All right, what about? There's no longer any. Oh wait, I just noticed. There's a flower over here that we need. Oh, dang it, dude. Uh, this one is a focaccia flower, or focaccia flower. And I think I gotta give this one, of course, hmm. Justin. But the color is so beautiful. I'm not sure I can part with it. What? Come on. I believe it's called a focaccia flower. Lovely color. Lovely color. I don't think... Hmm. So what am I supposed to do with it then? Interesting. Um, I'm not sure this guy is going to want it though, but I'm still going to try to give it to him. I'd better... No, better keep it. What? Are you kidding me, buddy? I really thought that I need to do something about this uh, function flower. I give it to Justin. Hmm. But the color is so... But I'm not able to do that though. Alright, you know what? Let me try something a little bit differently. So I've been trying my best here to try to figure out how to solve the puzzles here. How to actually uh, find myself the spray for um, those bugs, right? But what I'm thinking is that I may need something else. Now, if you guys are checking out this printed cartridge right here, right? This one has four colors that it's supposed to have inside. Black, cyan, magenta, and yellow, I guess, right? CMYK. But if I check it out... Black, empty. Empty. Cyan, empty. Empty. Magenta, empty. Empty and yellow empty. yellow, empty. I have a feeling this is something I'm supposed to actually fill up because I have uh, all these things in my inventory here that are color based, right? Which is, of course, this one, the pint, which is black. Can I fill it up? Hey, the pitch black pint of Look at that. looks like I a knew perfect it. match for the black slot. I was actually editing the uh, half of the video that you guys are watching right now and I figured out that I am not checking this out the proper way. I should do it differently. And look at that. This one is going to go inside the here as well. The color gizmo requires its colors to be in liquid form. Uh, okay, so I got to transform this one in liquid form somehow. The problem is I cannot give this one hmm. to Justin, right? So he cannot transform that into a uh, liquid mode. Uh, so I'm not quite sure exactly how to get it. But I do know how to get yellow. So, let me get myself to uh, the mall, of, uh, not to the mall, I want to say to the bar over here. Because we do have some mustard, right, that we could probably use as yellow. So, oh no, I don't want to chow with her. Uh, 
So. <laughs> Will do. Talk later. Now, the problem is, um, yellow is no longer accessible because it's behind Julia here. Oh, dang it, dude. How am I going to get that then? Oh, my God. All right, so we are going to need that uh, yellow over there. What about the jukebox? Mm, that's a groovy tune right there. Can I change it? Mm, that no. Hmm. All right, so we need uh, to turn the Fuchsia here into uh, liquid form. Uh, we've put in the black inside here. We just need to find cyan and yellow, of course, and add it in. I'm pretty sure the mustard is going to be part of it. But I may need to finish up my mission with uh, Julia first before she's going to allow me to do that. All right, anyway, uh, let me keep on exploring here. Let's see what else we got to do then. Um, hmm. I'm still a little bit confused, to be honest. Post envelope to open up saving account. Put a coin in the envelope. Salty wants a soft boiled egg. Uh, which we know that we got to do that. Now, hold on a minute. What else? What is that? Hmm. It reads, please report any suspicious caveman. You'll find nah, I'm good. I don't need that. Um, okay, we got this guy. We got the boom box. How am I going to get this flower into a liquid form, I wonder? Because, of course, we cannot transfer this one to... Um, Justin, right? So he cannot really do it anywhere else. Uh, can I maybe use this in here now? The color gizmo still isn't full. Still isn't full. Yeah, we definitely have to fill this up if I really There's want to no use color it. color gizmo in it. There's no color gizmo in it. Now, I believe I'm actually completely kind of stuck here with this guy. Uh, we got the demo tapes. Uh, cartridge. Yeah, I don't think I have to do anything I else right now. I crude facade, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, well, we cannot switch to that one, unfortunately. Although I would have really, really preferred to do it. Um, can I maybe use the shard of glass with they the flower? Go to no. Yeah, really don't see any don't way for me to uh, turn this one into hmm. liquid. So let me go back to Justin. Let's see what we got to do here. So how am I supposed to turn that flower into liquid? Since unfortunately we cannot give that flower to uh, Justin here, that's a little bit more complicated than I expected. Uh, let me check this window out again. Crapotulous! Mm. That's a lot of hunting trophies. That's a lot of hunting trophies. Now, how am I supposed to get inside this place, though? I would need something really strong to bend those. Oh, something really strong to bend those bars. Hold on a minute. Let me go back to Clute. Let me give you the crowbar. Uh, please tell me I figured it out. Please, please, please hmm. tell me. I guess technically it's impossible to do anything illegal here. No way, dude. Finally, we made it inside this place. I was stuck for the longest time ever. You guys have no idea how much I struggle with this. Oh, my God. All right. Um, That's one hmm. big mouth. Bear mouth. That's one. That's one big mouth. Oh, a bear rug. Yep. He's a big <laughs> one. Oh, my God. Look at that. We are on the other side of the door. I love that. Uh, we got some bowls over here. Yuck. Intestines. Oh, God. The bowls are labeled Thickosaurus and Slinkosaurus. <laughs> Thickosaurus. Can I grab some intestine? Oh, God. We got oh, it. The things I choose to carry around. <laughs> oh, wait. So we got two types of intestines. Thickosaurus and Slinkosaurus. Okay, what I about the... I really uh... don't like the vibe in this room. Yeah, it's a really, really uh, weird looking room. A graduation certificate made out to MD Abraxas. The illustrious. Huh. I guess MD stands for Medicine Dino. Maybe. Uh, what about the plaque a graduation here? Graduation certificate made out to MD Abraxas. The illustrious. The illustrious. Okay, what hmm. about this one? It's a framed news article telling the story of old Rory Gallagher, a huge bear that used to terrorize dinos. What? Folk, Is it this one at the bottom? Dodos, with its crazy loud roaring. Oh, Rory it's must crazy have had the loud roaring of lungs in history, says MD Abraxas, the hunter what? that managed to overpower the beast while on his lunch break. 
wait a minute. Are they actually talking about this bit right here? I'm guessing this is the bit, right? Yep. He's a big, it's a big one. one. Hmm. So maybe I gotta get this bear to make that uh, noise and scare the dodo. Uh, you know what? What if I give this to the bear? Interesting idea, but the lips don't fit the shape of the horn. The lips won't fit the shape of the horn. What if I use Let's this? Let's try something else. No. This? Nah. No. The lips won't fit the shape of the horn. Oh, you know what? Hold up, I think I know. Um, I think I may need that mouthpiece. Push him up, little man. Wait, this guy's back? You talking to me? <laughs> Tell me about the that you got working here. Huh? You better back off, friend. Oh, my nose, it's itching again. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to contaminate the timeline by rubbing out people not directly related to the investigation. That is to say, insignificant people. Yeah, whatever. Listen up, Buster. That's no ordinary waiter you have working here. Well, maybe I ain't no ordinary bouncer. <laughs> well, maybe I ain't no ordinary agent then. Well, I guess we're all pretty special people then. <laughs> okay, this conversation is getting Love late. it. Just tell your so-called waiter that I have a proposition for him. One he will not be able to refuse. Oh wow, seriously? Yeah, I'm not sure what to expect here though. Alright, so we are back to Clute, and I think I need the mouthpiece right over there. Um, not sure if I'm gonna need anything else though, so let me go back to Justin now. Let me put in the mouthpiece inside the bear. Ah, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Next up, we need the tube in Doesn't here. To... No, nope. uh, what about the big one? Nah, that no. mouthpiece fits uh, rather snugly. Okay, in that case, I think I'm just gonna need to put this in there. Fits perfectly. Here we go. All right, so how do I uh, That's make the sound then? If I just step on it, is it gonna work? Yep, he's a big one. No. Hmm. How do I get this guy? Yep. Yep. To yep. actually make noise now. Can I uh, use this there? Let's try. No. That's quite. That's quite. That's quite a contraption. Hmm. Maybe I'm supposed to actually use these these intestines. A short pair of elastic dino intestines. Very thick. Also, yuck. <laughs> Can I not connect nah. them here? No. Hmm. All right. So I got all this stuff inside the dino now, uh, inside the um, bear. But I have a feeling I must fill its lungs up with air. Can I combine I these together? Them together? No. Can I use them with Justin? Cord also, no. Hmm. Let's uh, check this reads, out as well. First prize in the category for best rabbit mating call goes to Abraxas the... Yeah, I've already read that. What about this one? A certificate for passing the Intimidating Hunting Cabin Decoration Course 101. <laughs> All right. Huh. Um... I mean, I did figure out what to do here, but... Interesting. I don't know how to fill the bear here with uh, air. The lungs with air. Can I use the bamboo stick here? Doesn't seem to... No. Can I use the bamboo stick with this? With the bear rug? Let's try something... No. Yep. Hmm. How do I fill this thing with air then? Uh, am I missing something on this side, I wonder? I'm gonna try to give absolutely everything nah, I... to Justin. Nah. And figure out what I can use, I guess. Uh, the shard. Here we go. The mirror. I guess that. 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 And I guess that is about it because we cannot really give anything to Justin I anymore. Think... Yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Let's go back to Justin. Yep. All right. So how do I fill this up with air? Hmm. I figure out this part. Can I use this? Nah. No. The mirror? Doesn't seem. No. The bag? Let's try. The bag here? Let's try. No. 
Interesting. Yeah, somehow I definitely have to fill him up with uh, air. Let me read this again. It's a framed news article telling the story of old Rory Gallagher. A huge bear that used to terrorize dinos, used kill folk and dodos dinos. with his crazy Cave loud folk. roaring. Old Rory must have had the greatest pair of lungs in history, says MD Abraxas, the hunter that managed to overpower the beast while on his lunch break. Hmm. Biggest pair of lungs. What about the gum? Nah. No. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I just with these? I gotta do something with these intestine, in, intestines, but um, not quite sure exactly what. A short what. pair of elastic dino intestines. Very a thick. short pair of elastic also, yak intestines, and this one a is long cord of a long cord of elastic dino intestines. Very slinky. Also, very slinky. Yak. Can I give these ones nah, to Clute? I, no. I don't think. I think I gotta come. Bind them somehow, maybe. Also, let's not. What if I try to use the bellows here with the bed rug? Seem... No, or with the uh, mouth. Oh. Okay, so I might have overdone the inflation uh... part a little. <laughs> so that's how you fill it up, which means we can now jump on it. There we go, buddy. <laughs> We knocked out the dodo. Oh, finally, dude. I've been struggling so much to get this done. Okay, <laughs> that was crazy loud. That was awesome. All right, we have done it. Finally, let's get out of here. Uh, anything else happening here? No, this is just the same. All right, in that case, let me make my way to the dodo now that we got rid of it. It has been so much work to get rid of this dodo, though. But now, we can finally get ourselves one of the eggs. Yoink! <laughs> Yoink! And go up the mountain. I say, is that a meteor you're studying? A talking cavey? Amos is not impressed. And no, it's not a meteor, it's an asteroid, obviously. Oh, I'll try to remember that. Any reason we should be worried? Define we. <laughs> Keep your nappy on, KV. All dinosaurs should be safe here up on the mountain. As for you cave folk, though. Yes? Well, let's just say it's heading directly for Cave Folk Valley. Ay, caramba! If you're referring <laughs> to the feast afterwards, I agree. Ay, caramba! Plenty of cave folk for everyone. Wow, seriously? Oh, wait, maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I'm guessing he's talking about this meteor up here, or more like the asteroid, I guess. I say, that's a menacing looking meteor, uh, asteroid. <laughs> Looks like it's gonna crash pretty soon. That is awesome. And probably not too far from here. All right, well, we finally figured out quite a lot of things, guys, and I was stuck for the longest time until we got to this spot. But anyway, guys, this is going to be the end of this episode of uh, Justin Wack and the Big Time Hack, and we'll come back to the next one. We're going to be carrying on the adventure right from here, and I think I got uh, quite everything that I need in order to carry on the adventure and uh, hopefully also get ourselves uh, the uh, gloves here to be even stickier. But until then, guys, thank you all very much for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.